it's Tammy Silvers of Tamarini's. Thanks so much for coming to my Facebook Live video. I have a little trunk show that I wanted to put together for you. Now, I'm sure you've seen all the things that I've been seeing about Christmas in July, and yes, I am well aware we are at the end of August, but hey, you know, you gotta pace yourselves with these things. So I thought this might be a great opportunity to share some of the great projects that you can do in my quick quilted gifts class for Craftsy. So it's still not too late to start your Christmas crafting and stitching and that's why I thought hey why not show them some of the things that you can do here. These aren't specifically Christmas projects these are giftable projects so that's why it's called quick quilted gifts. Get it? Pretty catchy right? Yep yep. Alright so what can you make in there? Well, I have a wearable. I don't do a lot of wearables, but I have one wearable, and that is an infinity scarf. Because you can never have too many scarves, can you? No, a girl cannot have too many accessories. Now, I can't have too many shoes, cannot have too many scarves. So I have this version, which is done in rayons. And see, it's, it's stylish. I know Vogue is calling all the time um, and it's really really easy and it's a lot of fun now I did this one in blues and purples and it's very subtle but I redid it this past spring and I've got the sample hanging up here to show you and I did it a little more high contrast and I know you can't see from this distance but I've got some just nice simple edge stitching so I did black and white rayons on one side and you can already see that pop of color and then some juicy reds on the other side what fun right so this project is super easy minimal piecing you can do hand embellishment if you want you can do thread embellishment but what a lot of fun right and if you haven't done wearables this might be a great introduction into wearables because it's really stress-free because hey I am not here to stress you out let me tell you all right so we move from the wearables on to the table and I have a table set that is super easy and super fun to do so I'm gonna hold up the table runner for you first and this is called double dutch okay so here is the table runner just wanted to make sure you knew I was still here here's the table runner so you can see it has these nice little circle piecing so are you afraid of circle piecing yeah a lot of people are like mm, no not gonna do that well guess what no curved piecing in here absolutely not it's a faux method and I think you're really gonna like it so you can make the table runner and then of course what's a table runner without coordinating place maps and yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can do this with a fat quarter stack or with your own favorite selection of fabrics this one is done of course with a yummy selection of prints from Moda from a Christmas line from a few years ago but hey any kind of color combination would work with this all right so then we go from the table to the wall and I have celebration slices now celebration slices is this really fun little project it's paper piecing now just breathe deeply if you're not a big paper piecer I'm gonna tell you it is an uber easy paper piecing pattern super duper simple and celebration slices lets you make not one not two but three different wall hangings so I cover the gamut from birthdays to Halloween to Christmas all right so here is the Halloween celebration slices isn't he adorbs he is right so you can make your very own funky jack-o-lantern and then right after that you can slide into Christmas and make your own absolutely adorable kind of contemporary looking nice little Christmas tree and then of course everybody's got birthdays and hey you can make one of these birthday banners in that hella cute it's pretty hella cute this little birthday banner that you can hang up for anybody's birthday so what's the secret here the secret is you have a very basic paper piecing pattern and then you have fused applique motifs and I'll let you in on a little secret for these 
you can stitch around them if you want to but you know what if you're not quite feeling all of that extra hand stitching or machine stitching you can just fuse them and move on because these are going to hang on the wall there's not really going to be any stress there so have fun with it do your own favorite color combinations add your own embellishments or use mine and i'm telling you super quick and easy and then the last project for quick quilted gifts I mean hey what is a quilt class without a quilt you guessed it so this one is I have to say I'm very very partial to it I'm gonna try and hold it up so you can see it but this is using a stitch and flip technique and this is called I'm gonna try and maneuver it around so you get kind of a, a uh, a picture of it but this is called Mary's Contrary Garden now it's really not that contrary because if you've ever done flip and stitch you know that it's really quick and easy it is low stress it's very much improvisational type piecing um, but you can make these flowers as contrary as you want them to be so they can be as wonky or as complicated as you would like mine are pretty straightforward you can see and I've done a lot of nice, bright, cheery colors. And of course, my favorite company, Island Boutique. This is using some of their nice basics because, hey, you can't go wrong with basics, can you? But look how cheery and fun this is and how sweet and simple. And who wouldn't love to get this cozy and yet cheerful uh, lap quilt from you, right? So, these four projects are included in my Craftsy class. And no, I'm really not trying to make this a high sell thing, but I did want to let you know the Craftsy class is such a great deal because right now my class is on sale for $14.99. And get this, so when you buy the class, you get the pattern for Mary's Contrary Garden. You get the pattern for Celebration Slices, which has the birthday cake and the Christmas tree and the pumpkin. In fact, you've got enough time to go ahead and start and get this bad boy done before Halloween. Yes, you do. And then you can make double dutch, do the nice table set with the table runner. And then of course the infinity scarf that you're going to want to make for everybody on your gift list because it's so much fun and you're going to have so much fun combining different color combinations and playing around with some of those gorgeous decorative threads so think about this for $14.99 you get me coming into your studio your sewing room on your computer for the class and you get four patterns such a great deal but what I'm really hoping is you'll get in there and start sewing, that you'll get in there and start creating, and you'll be able to have all of those nice handmade gifts tucked up under the Christmas tree. Wouldn't that be awesome? I really enjoy that. So anyway, that's the little trunk show today that I wanted to show you. I wanted to give you an idea of some of the classes, some of the projects. I'm gonna be bringing more trunk shows to you because in case you didn't know, Quilt Market is coming up. And if you're not familiar with Quilt Market, Quilt Market is the trade show. It happens twice a year, once in the spring in May and once in the fall in October. And at the trade show, this is where designers come in, this is where manufacturers come in. So we're gonna have fabric companies, we're gonna have sewing machine companies, we're gonna have pattern designers, we're gonna have book publishers, we're gonna have thread companies, and the trade show is where everyone introduces their new product. So of course, all of us in the quilting industry have been busily getting ready for quilt market. So right before I head off to Houston for quilt market, I'm going to give you a trunk show. Now some of it's going to be virtual because I've already shipped some of my little goodies off um, for quilt market, but some of them I still have here and I want to kind of give you a sneak peek of what you can be seeing from me. And then while I'm at Quilt Market, I plan on doing some video as well to show you some of the great booths that are there and some of the wonderful projects. It's so much eye candy, it's like sensory overload. So if there's anything especially that you want to see, um, a particular designer, a certain fabric company, and you're like, hey, Tammy, while you're there at Quilt Market, can you go by and visit them and shoot us a quick video? Just Drop me a line, let me know, and I'll be sure to put it on my agenda. But in the meantime, 
I hope that you've enjoyed this little trunk show and of course, happy stitching.